Ove blagodnosti. Bolje vas našli, pomaže Bog. Ja sam Zoran Stojljković, malo kratko, ali popunija da se predstavim. Oficijer pilot, pokovnik u penziji. Prijatelj sam sa Klausom godinama i nismo imali ranije čast da se sa vama sretnem u vašem gradu, ali smo bili u većini gradova u Srbiji. Klaus Kenet je prijatelj i Srbije i svih pravoslavnih, ali prijatelji svih ljudi dobre volje. Rođen je 45. godine u Čehoslovačkoj, u jednom nesrećnom vremenu na kraju rata, proživio teško detinstvo i u svom životu on će malo više imati priliku da vam kaže, pošto je to autentično od njega. Very famous book in Serbia. Prevodio je knjigu Sveti Siloan s Atosa, veoma važna knjiga. He was translating it into French and for that time he was in Lausanne in Switzerland. Prevodio sa francuskog i taj put je bio u Lausanne u Švajcarskoj. So, he was crossing a zebra crossing in the street, I came with my car and almost smashed him. Prelazio je pešački prelaz i za malo sam ga udario svojim vozilom. I didn't know who he was. Nisam znao ko je on bio. But when I saw his face, I knew this is the guru, the spiritual teacher I've been looking all my life for. This face was expressing love, love, love. And when people ask me now, how, who, how was he? I say, very simple, he was love incarnate. And he was the, he gave me many, many lessons, of course. When I was just walking over to get the blessing from the bishop in the church just now, the, the theological teacher, you, od veručitelja, my job is to teach catechism to the, to the children. Moj posao je bio da učini katehizam, katehizis decu. And I told him, I rekao sam, my job is to be a model. Moj posao je da budem model. Because about Bible about theology. Everything has been said already. The top for me was Nikola Velimirovic. I read all these things. Wonderful. Nikola Velimirovic, to is one redno. So what now? Why is not so many young people here tonight? Where are the young people? So what we need now is, of course, we need a catechism, but we need models. And Father Zofroni was the model for me. Naravno, mi trebamo veručitelja, ali trebamo obrazi, a Otac Zofroni je bio obrazac, model za mene. When I am orthodox today, it is because of Father Zofroni, because he was the model. Razlog zašto sam danas pravoslovan je Otac Zofroni, jer je on za mene bio model. So theology came later. First, I needed a model to see: is he hypocrite, like many hypocrites uh, that I met in the Catholic Church, or in Buddhism? In, I met many hypocrites, but I wanted to see: is he true? Theologia dolazi kasnije. Prvo nam treba model, odnosno da vidimo da li je neko licemer kao kodrimo katolika ili je istinit. And Saint Sophroni was just love and human and humor. Humorous. It was very humorous, also. I Ota Sofroni je bio ljubav, bio je i human, ali je bio i duhovit, takođe. So when I saw him, I said, "Why are you so black?" Kada sam na prvi put video u vezi ovog mokcenog džempera, pitao sam ga zašto si ti u crno. Look at advertising. Pogledaj oglas. Colors and colors. Why are you so black? Boje na sve strane. Zašto si ti u crno? And Father Sofroni said. Come to the window. In the office where he was working, the translation. So. Underneath was a boulevard. He opened the curtain. And he said, look down. Look at the cars attentively. Okay, green, opal, blue, Volkswagen, black Mercedes, yellow, you know, all the other, all this stuff. 
zeleni Volkswagen, crni Mercedes i različite boje automobila. He closed the curtain, he looked at me, Klaus, which car did you like most? Zatvorio zavesu i pitao me, Klaus, koji ti se auto najviše dopada? I said, the most elegant was the black Mercedes. Rekao sam, najelegantnije crni Mercedes. That's why we are black, you said. Odgovorio je, zato smo mi u crno. That was my first words with Father Sofroni. If he would have told me, you must become orthodox like a Protestant, you must convert your life to orthodoxy, I would have gone. Immediately, five minutes later, I said, because I love, I love you, um, can I take a photo of you? Ja sam ga pitao, sviđaš mi se, da li mogu da te fotografišem? He said no. Rekao je ne. Why? He said, because Zašto? everybody takes pictures of me, I have 2000 photos, they all show me who I am not. Odgovorio je, zato što na hiljade ljudi me fotografiše. All this, it's not me, he says. I pokazuju na fotografijama kakav ja nisam. And actually, I saw, before Saint Sofroni became canonized, about two months now, I think, uh, I saw even in Romania uh, icons on the wall with halo already of Saint Sofroni. Nadam se da prema što da prema što starca Sofronija uh, kanonizuju, vidio sam već u Rumuniji ikone sa njegovim likom. But it was not him. Ali to nije bio. You can see physically, of course, it was him, but when you have known Father Sofroni you want to express the love in his eyes. This Ali is the secret of the photos. So, but immediately, I was important for Father Zofroni. All the time, when we met for a period of 10 years, when we were together, I was important, not he. For him, I was the most important thing. I ono što je moj utisak za deset godina koliko smo se poznavali, da sam ja bio važan za njega, da nije on se pravio važan, nego sam ja bio za njega važan. Not any ideas about teaching, about orthodoxy, about Bible. I was just the center of the meeting all the time. This is so well doing inside, this respect, this love. Ne neka ideja o pravoslavlju, nego duboko poštovanje i ljubav prema meni. So he sensed that photo would be important for me. I on je u tom trenutku osjetio da će kad ga fotografišem da je za mene važno. So he took off his glasses. Spinuo je svoje naočare. I namestio se da mi pozirao mi je da ga slikam. I ovo je slika. This is the picture. When he put off his glasses, I have taken off him. Kad je skinuo naočare, ja sam ga slikao. To je fotografija ovih misli. So what is important all the time? Dakle, šta je važno sve vreme? I think this is one of the biggest mistakes orthodox people make. Mislim da je to najveća greška koju pravoslavni ljudi čine. We want to teach the others that they are wrong. They will make yoga, they make Buddhism, the, the homosexuals, whatever. We always tell them you are bad, you are bad, you are bad. Hoćemo da ubedimo druge da to što čine nije dobro, da li to yoga ili šta god, da ih ubedimo da su loši. And of course we know it is not godly. We know of course, but we, we, we act wrong when we say what you do is bad. Naravno, mi znamo da je to što neko radi loše. And that was the greatest lessons Father Sofroni, Saint Sofroni gave me. He took off his orthodoxy and he became like Klaus. He came into my world. What did Christ do? Jesus Christ took off his Godhead and became man. So Christ became man. Father Sofroni became Klaus. Kao što je Hristos postao čovek, tako je... And now Klaus is doing the same. Otac Sofroni je postao Klaus i Klaus sada radi... I will talk you about yoga. Zato ću vam pričati o yoga. 1945, just at the end of the war, when all Germans were killed. U maju sam pete sam rođen i za malo sam bio ubijen na kraju rata. So, when I had this big conflict with my parents, parents, no, mother only, father was there, not there. Kada sam imao veliki sukop sa mojom majkom, jer oca nisam imao, I had a problem with the police, with the school, with the teachers, with everybody was my enemies. Problem sa svima, svi su bili moji neprijatelji, sa školom, sa policijom, sa učiteljima. So there was only one man, he said, I will manage your boy, he said to my mother, I will manage him. Tada se pojavio jedan čovek koji je rekao, ja ću njime da upravljam, ja mogu da se 
suo da se nosim se ne. Was a Roman Catholic priest. To je bio rimokatolički sveštenik. But this priest had magic powers. On je imao moći. He took away the greatest gift God gave to humans. I oduzeo mi je najveći najveći dar koji je Bog dao ljudima. My free will. Moju slobodnu volju. Again, Saint Sophroni says when he created Adam and Eve, he made them the risk, he said the risk of creation to give them free will. Kao što je otac Sofrenje rekao, Bog je rizikovao na neki način kada je dao slobodnu volju ljudima koje je stvorio. To je free will to decide against God and that's what they did. I je slobodna volja predpostavlja mogućnost da se suprotstave Bogu što su oni radili. You try to decide against Allah in Muslim, they cut your throat. Pokušajte da se suprotstavite Allah u muslimskim zemljama, muslimanskim zemljama razrezovat će vam grlo. Only Christ run this risk. Jedino je Hristos preuzeo rizik da da slobodno volje. To je ljubav. And that the priest took away because he was a homosexual himself and he started to violate me for seven years every night. I taj je jedno katolički sveštenik mi uzeo slobodno volju i zlostavljao me je sedam godina svake noći. So that was Christianity as I learned it up to 22 years when I quit the pig of priests. I to je bilo hrišćanstvo koje sam ja poznavao u 22. godini kada sam otišao od toga nečoveka. And I thought now I am free. I mislio sam sad sam slobodan. And I started to take drugs. Počeo sam da se drogiram. Killed me almost two times. Dva put skoro sam se predozirao. Where is God? Gde je Bog? Not in mystic experiences with drugs. He wasn't there. Nije u mističnom iskustvu drogiranja. It was demonic. Je li to bilo demonsko? And I wanted to kill myself for a loneliness. Kao sam da se ubijem zbog usamljenosti. I had no love and I never knew what love is. Nisam imao ljubav i nisam znao šta je ljubav jeste. And then I may be this God in philosophy. Mislio sam da je Bog u filosofiji. And I started from Socrates, from Plato, up to Nietzsche. Philosophy is God somewhere in the philosophical mind. Da izučavam sve filosofe od Platona, Sokrata do Nietzsche i mislio sam da je Bog umu. Da je Bog umu. And it was one day in the university in Hamburg where I studied. Jedan dan sam se našao na univerzitetu u Hamburgu gde sam studirao. Nietzsche, a very famous poet, a philosopher. Hitler liked him very much. Veliki poeta i filosof i volao sam ga tada, odnosno Hitler. He said something very important. He said like religion is opium for the people. I on je rekao da je religija opium za narod. You have had Tito, so Marx, Marx said the same, opium for the people. It comes from Feuerbach, he's a German philosopher, so he was the first one. Od Feuerbacha, koji je nemački filosof, koji to prvi rekao. And of course, religion is opium for the people. Naravno da je religija opium za narod. Because when you understand what religion does, fanaticize people and make war. Through all the history, religion makes war. Naravno, kada razumete šta religija radi, izaziva ratove širom sveta. Until the point we understand Christianity is revelation and not religion. What a difference. Dok ne razumete koja je zaista prava razlika između hrišćanstva, da ono nije religija, nego otkrivenje. God revealed himself. That's not religion. It's a revelation. Jer je Bog otkrio samoga sebe, a to već nije religija. It's from this moment that we have personal contact to Christ. Jer od tog trenutka mi imamo lični kontakt sa Hristom. So another side of philosopher Nietzsche was God is dead. Jedna od poznatih izreka Nietzsche je bila Bog je mrtav. And at that time, of course, I was hippie, I was in the drugs, and I thought, yes, Nietzsche is right. Naravno, u to vreme kad sam vidio da je to napisano, verovao sam da je niče u redu, jer sam bio hipik. Someone had written in a toilet in Hamburg, in the university, God is there, in brackets underneath, niče. Neko je napisao, vaš život će se promeniti večeras. This is one thing Mother Teresa was teaching me also. Također je to izreka koju je majka Teresa me učila. She said, Klaus. Rekla mi je, Klaus. Everybody who comes to me, I want him to go away from me richer than he came. Klaus, svako ko meni, kod mene dolazi, gledam da ode bogatiji od mene nego što je došao. And I want you people who are here tonight, when you go out through the door, you go richer than you came in. 
odete bogatiji nego što ste ušli u ovu gostoprimnicu. If this not the case, I am useless. Then I forget about me. Ako to ne bude slučaj, ja sam beskoristan i možete da ne zaboravite. I have to give you something. Moram nešto da vam dam. Not from myself, from Otac Tadej, from Father Zufroni. Ne, moram nešto who am I? And the sentence Otac Tadej say, listen well now, listen really well, this can change your life now. Our happiness or our unhappiness is determined by our thoughts, not by the president of Serbia or by Trump or such other idiots. So it's by our thoughts. A very important sentence. Tada je rekao, a što može da vam promeni život i večeras, to je da naše sreće i nesreće zavise od naših misli, ne od predsjednika Srbije ili od Trumpa. So I felt somehow it must be somewhere in me. In another religion. I don't know. I onda sam pomislio, mora da bude nešto u meni ili u drugoj religiji, ne znam. I left university in Hamburg. Napustio sam univerzitet u Hamburgu. I met some uh, gastarbeiter, Muslims, Sreo Turkish gastarbeiter. And uh, because they were nice people, I went to Turkey and then to Iran, Afghanistan, Pakistan, and I was exploring what is Islam. To Mexico. U Mexico. Further went to Peru and Bolivia and Zatim, Argentina. Perua, it's not Argentina, in, in um, Ecuador. And, Perua, Ecuador and, Bolivia. and then up to that point I do te tačke, my life was so risky moje život je bio tako rizičan, I've been in war between bio sam India ratu, and Pakistan Indije, Pakistan, and the war between Israel and I Lebanon između Libanona i Izraela in the ratu, war between Iraq and Iran u ratu između Irana i Iraka so I think my life was so dangerous that my guardian angel my Christian guardian angel uh, or my guardian angels went on strike i mislim da sam toliko rizikovao svoj život da je moj anđeo ohranitelj ili čuvar počeo da štrajkuje. You see, when I just survived sometimes, have you ever, have you ever, if you are lighter, burn your hair. You see how it smells when you burn hair. Kad sa upaljačem ili na otvrnom pamenu oprljite kosu, osjeća se smrat. So I think sometimes when the angels protected me, it smelled the burned wings. I sad mi se čini da su anđeli, anđeo koji me čuvao, oprljio svoje krila od moga rizičnog života. I think they wrote a petition to God, please do something about Klaus, it's so difficult to protect this guy. Mislim da su napisali peticiju Bogu, učini nešto jer je teško štititi ovoga čoveka Klausa. God is love and he, he, he listened to his angel and he acted. I s obzirom da je Bog ljubav, on je naravno postupio po njegovoj molbi. Now, if you think that if God comes in your life, you're on a pink cloud, and you'll be like with a harp or like an angel, this is not our God. Ako mislite da je Bog samo onaj koji će ga staviti na dušćasti oblak sa harpom, to nije naš Bog. Maybe for some people he's doing like that. Za neke verovatno ljude tako radi. But in my case he didn't. Ali u mom slučaju to nije bilo tako. He sent me to be taken hostage for the liberation army in Colombia. Desilo mi se da me zarobe kao taoca, da uzmu za taoca, kolumbijska revolucionarna armija. They took me up in the Anden mountains, in the revolutionary camp. Odvali su me u revolucionarni kamp visoko u Andima. When I tried to flee, kad sam pokušao da pobegnem, I was covered with blood. Izubijali su me i bio sam obriven krvlju. They took out my clothes. Skinuli su me they threw me in a muddy ditch. Bacili su me u jarak pun plata. And then came the execution squad came. I osudili su me na smrt, došao je vod koji treba da izvrši razno. The last thing before I died, I was counting seven kalašnikovs. I moment pre nam što sam trebao da bude mrtav, prebrao sam sedam kalašnikov. And I saw the finger was on the trigger. I bio sam svestan da je prst na okidaču. So there was one second to live. Jedan sekund je još ostao da preživim i živim. What is one second? Šta je jedan sekund, da li ste se pitali? What is time? Šta je vreme? I started to ask these questions before. What is time? To sam postoje pitanje ranije. Šta je vreme? I'd like to tell you a little joke now. Teo bih da vam izličam jednu šalu koja nije plitka, nego je dosta duboka. One day, 
from internet. Somebody sent me a photo. Nekom je poslao foto s interneta. A Jew standing at the wailing wall in Jerusalem. Wailing wall is the old Solomon temple. Gde je jedan jevrej prikazan kako stoji ispred zida plača kod Solomonovog hrama. Where the Jews always put these little papers, you know, like. Znate da jevreji stavljaju male papiriće u zid plača. So on this photo was a Jew and he was on the, with a mobile phone. Na tom na toj karikaturi ili slici prikazan je bio jevrej sa mobilnim telefonom kako razgovara sa Bogom. So underneath was written like he's talking to God. <laughs> I ispod je napisano bilo tekst kako on razgovara sa Bogom, govoreći o reči. God can I ask you a question? Bože, mogu li te pitati jedno nešto? Yes. Naravno stiže glas, možeš. God, what is one million years for you? Bože, šta je jedan milion godina za tebe? God says, one second. Bog odgovara, jedna sekunda. God, can I ask you another question? Yes. Jevre kaže, Bože, mogu li te pitati još jedno pitanje? Odgovor stiže da. God, what is one million dollars for you? Bože, šta je jedan milion dolara za tebe? One dinar. Jedan dinar, odgovara Bog. One more question, God? Još samo jedno pitanje, Bože, kaže Jevre. Can you give me a dinar? Možete mi dati taj dinar? And God says, wait a second. I Bog odgovara, naravno, sačekaj sekund, pitao Klause, da li možeš da izgovoriš ime Isus? Samo da izgovoriš. It was impossible. Ali za mene je bilo nemoguće. And he said, Klaus, because you are not free, you are a slave of the demons. I on mi je rekao, Klaus, to je zato što si rob demona. You did yoga. Radio si, bavio si jogom, bavio si hinduizmom. You opened your doors very wide for all these energies. Otvorio si vrata širom za sve te energije. If you want to become a Christian, you cannot even, even if you want. Ako i želiš da postaneš Hrišćanin, tebi je to nemoguće. But I can offer you ali mogu da ti ponudim an exorcism obred exorcizma not me, in the name of Jesus Christ ne u moje, nego u ime Isusa Hrista I cannot force you neću te terati I had nothing to lose anymore, I said do it nisam imao ništa da uradim i it was not that fast, I mean it took some hours, days sometimes naravno, nije to bilo tako brzo, trebalo je mnogo borbe nije to bilo tako brzo, trajalo je nekoliko sati after that I could pronounce the word Jesus Posle toga sam mogao da izgovorim ime Isusa. And the priest, it was a protestant pastor, i taj protestantski pastor, he said, what do you want now? Rekao je, šta želi sada? I said, I have heard about all you guys talking about this Jesus. Who is he? What is that about it? Odgovorio sam mu, čuo sam da svi vi pričate o tom Isusu. Ko je on? Gde se on nalazi? He said, yes, he, you can talk to him. He's risen from the dead. Da, on mi je odgovorio, ti možeš da razgovara sa njim, on je vaskrso iz mrtvih. We go to Easter now. Idemo, bližimo se vaskrsu. Post starts, and we go to Easter, and you see all the people, you all see, Christus vaskres je. I naravno znate da svi govore Christus vaskrse. Sometimes I would like to ask, are you sure? Nekad se ih pitam, da li ste sigurni? Is he vaskres je in your heart? Da li je vaskrso u vašem srcu? Or only in the scripture, in the Bible, and with your neighbor? Is it... Was crazy in your heart? Da li je vaskrsa u vašem srcu ili to samo čitate u Svetom pismu? You cannot be a mafiozi and say Christus was crazy. Ne možete da budete mafioze i da kažete Hristos vaskrse. Your life should then change. If he is really vaskrse, your life should change. Otherwise it's bla bla bla, hypocrisy. Ako je zaista vaskrsa, onda će se vaš život promeniti. Drugačije je to licemerje. So I said, how can I... How can I meet him? Ja sam pitao tog pastora kako mogu da se sretnem sa tim Isusom. He said, ask him. Rekao je, pitaj ga, obratim se. How can I ask him? Kako da ga pitam? I ask Buddha, I ask Krishna, I ask all these gods. Obraćao sam se s tim bogovima Budi Krišni, ali nisam nikad dobio odgovor. Of course they cannot answer, they said, because they are all dead. But Jesus Christ was crazy, he's really risen from the dead. So you can speak to him. Naravno, pastor mi je odgovorio, oni su svi mrtvi, ali Isus Hristos je vaskrso iz mrtvih, znači možeš sa njim da razgovaraš, obratimo se. How? Pitao sam se kako. You must pray. Moraš da se moliš. I don't know what praying is, I've never been praying in my life. Nisam znao šta je molitva, nikad se molio, nisam u životu. No, it's very simple. Just when you say the truth, that's praying. Say the truth. 
rekao mi je, to je jednostavno, samo kaži istinu i to ti je molitva. Ok, I close my eyes. Zatvorio sam oči. Jesus, i rekao, if you're really living, Isus, ako si zaista živ, and you can see in us and our thoughts, dakle, i možeš da vidiš naše misli i nas, if all that is true, i ako je sve to istina što mi kažu, well, then you must know me. Onda moraš da me poznaješ. And if you know me, i ako me poznaješ, you must also know that I don't believe in you. Također znaš da ja u tebe ne verujem. But I make you an offer now. Ali dajem ti jednu, nudim ti nagodbu. If you speak to me, ako mi se obratiš, then I will believe you. Onda ću ti povjerovati. And I want to be sure it's you. Ali moram biti siguran da si to zaista ti. So, Forgive me, normally you should not speak like this. Naravno, verujte, oprostite mi, normalno tako čovjek ne razgovara. You can understand in my situation, I didn't want to be tricked again. Every time I was tricked, I just wanted to be sure. Želo sam da budem, da ne budem prevaren još jednom, nego da budem zaista siguran. There was no pride or something, I just wanted to be sure, that's all. To nije bila gordost, nego sam htio da budem siguran. And the priest said, Jesus will speak to you. I taj mi je pastor rekao, da, Isus će ti se obratiti. I on je bio sto posto ubeđen. Bila je subota uveče. Sljedeći susret sa tim sveštenikom. Sljedeći susret sa sveštenikom bio u 9 sati ujutru, u nedelju, i ja sam došao i rekao, slušaj, 10 sati. Je li tricky again? Je li tricky again? Došao, deset sat je prošlo, Isus mi se nije obratio. I cannot decide, it's up to God, I cannot decide, but he will speak to you. I rekao sam, opet sam prevaren, ali pastor mi je odgovorio. I said, listen. Ja ne mogu da prisilim Boga da ti se obrati, rekao sam mu slušaj. Maybe the first, the first exorcism, it was difficult, but maybe I was not really, I was mocking a little bit. Do it again. Turbo, make turbo exorcism. Rekao sam uradi još jedan obred egzorcizma, možda onaj nije delovao. From nine o'clock, he said, Jesus, do you want me to come or not? Isuse, da li želiš da priđem ili ne? And as clear as you hear my voice now, he said to me, Yes, come, I have forgiven you everything. I čuo sam jasno to što vi čujete moje reči, da priđi, sve ti je oprošteno, sve ti je oprostio. Big bang of love. To je bio veliki prasak ljubavi. Ali kao što sam rekao, želo sam budem siguran da je to Isus Hristos. Su njegove reči odzvanjale u mojoj glavi kad je kao munja se spustila sa vrha i presekla me na dvoje i osjetio sam da se guši. Istrčao sam iz te crkve. Hteo sam da se ubijem jer je to za mene bilo previše. I onda se pojavio drugi glas koji mi je rekao i pitao da li si nesrećan. Naravno, hteo sam da skočim. Do what you have always done when you were unhappy. I taj glas mi je rekao, uradio ono što si uvek radio kada si bio nesrećen. The voice, forgive me, but it is, Hey, what you have always done, do what you have always done. It was very dirty voice. I taj glas je bio jako strašan i prljav, odjekivao u mojoj glavi. Look behind you, turn around. Pogled je iza sebe, okrenuo sam se. To have power, since I was guru in India, I had power over people. Da sam bio guru u Indiji, imao sam moć nad ljudima. I could seduce them to the wrong religions. Mogo sam da ih zavedem u bilo koju pogrešnu religiju. To destroy their souls. Da uništim njihove duše. To do with them what they have done with me. That's what I've learned. Da naut, da radim ono sa njima što god su me naučili da radim. Three beautiful young girls were just passing there. Three divne devojke su upravo prolazile. I cut the way they couldn't move on. Presekao sam im put da ne mogu da prođu. I looked first in her eyes. Pogledao sam prvo u oči. And I know how to attack people. I was, I did it all my life. Znao sam kako da napadnem ljude, ali sam seo život sam to radio. But because Christ was already in me, but it was so fast, I didn't realize really. Ali verujem da s obzirom da je Hristos bio u meni. Something had changed. Nešto se odjednom. When I looked in the eyes of this girl, the first one, u oči prve devojke, I saw that she was unhappy. Vidio sam u njenoj duši da je ona nesrećna. This I could see always. This wasn't a problem. This When you see, 
I'm happy you can get people easily. It's very easy. So that wasn't the problem. But the moment I saw that this girl was good looking physically, but I saw she was miserable in her soul, I could see the heart. U tom trenutku videvši da ta divna devojka koja divno izgledala u svojoj duši duboko nesrećna, instead of attacking umesto da je napadnem, the first time I had pity, compassion to the poor girl. Odjedno sam po prvi put u životu osjetio in my brain, how can you find happiness, Klaus, with unhappy people? It's impossible. It's not logic. Umu se postoji logično pitanje kako može da nađe sreću sa nesrećnim ljudima. So the end, definitely, it's the most beautiful point in my story. Dolazimo do kraja koji je najvažniji i najvrši deo u mojoj priči. Because I know there was the forgiveness instead of punishing. Come, I have forgiven you everything. He invited me, come. So I knew I will take the communion next time. Ja sam skvatio da je sve mi oprošteno i da sledeći put sam trebao da se pričestim. And the next day was the next day. Sledeći dan. Priest again came with the cup and invited the people. Opet je sveštenik izašao da pričesti ljude. And when I wanted to lift up and go and take it, I got panic. I said, it is, if this... Attack comes again. I will die. I will be dying. I at the moment when I was supposed to go, I was in panic. 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 In my name, you will always be stronger. Wow, and that was, I get even today goosebumps if I think of that. This is never gone away. I took the first time the communion. And now I must make a bracket because very orthodox people say, Protestant cannot be. They don't have the epiclesia, they don't have the Holy Spirit. But believe, believe the Bible and believe the Father Zephroni. The Bible says the wind blows where it wills. <laughs> we cannot prescribe the Holy Spirit what he has to do. Father Zephroni said, God knew that later I will be orthodox. So in this case, when Christ calls you personally himself, you can be sure that he was in this moment, not for the others, but for you, it was true. So it's a special case. So with this energy, with this power of love, which never left me, there was in 1981, look at almost the... Uh, 38 years ago, it was. It's still there. I could go to Germany and forgive that priest. I am free. I could forgive my mother. I found my father in Stuttgart in Germany. I forgave everybody. This was the big miracle. Only Christ can do such a thing. And then, am I Protestant? Am I Catholic? This is when I met Father Sofroni in Lausanne again. So and then I went wanted to become a monk in Essex in the monastery of of Saint Sofroni. But at that time already, Father Sofroni did two miracles. He was could do miracles, of course, with my book and with other things and uh, he gave me the blessing to be like an evangelist i'm not a protestant evangelist i'm an orthodox evangelist because i want to be this model I'm not a good model of course but so i want you as i said go home go out of this door richer not because it's a story because something in your heart has maybe changed tonight to be serious, don't use uh, gospel di familio if you don't mean it. 
Dakle, želim da vam poručim da izađete bogati odavde, ne zbog mojih reči. To što kažete, gospodi, pomiluj, ne govorite ako ne mislite. I Isus vaskrse ako ne mislite. Don't be hypocrite. And then comes what Christ said. Don't be afraid. In my name you will be stronger. And that's what I learned. Of course, in my name, Gospode, Jesus Christ, you see? This is my name. And this is what I'm doing since 35 years. Pray without ceasing, St. Paul says. Molim se bez posjedovanja i... And if you do that really, it's not a decoration like many kids they get this of all the baptism and it's a decoration. To zaista radite da to ne bude brojanica dekoracija kao što deca dobijaju kada su krštena. This is a Rolex. Jer ovo je moj Rolex. The most expensive you can find. Najskuplji koji možete da nađe. Because it takes you out of time. If you go with time, it takes you to eternity. I vodi vas u večnost. If you mean what you say, if you don't mean what you say, don't be people with them, do it. Then go home tonight richer. This is what Christ wants of every one of us.